hello everybody and welcome to th oh, week three of our musical learning um either in school in smaller bubble sizes or at home with your learning uh we're going to get started straight away with a warm-up we're going to warm up our bodies ready for our music today so just copy me and join in and videos that are shared with me and musical videos and this one I thought um, when I watched it it would be quite a good fun one to do for our home learning um, and it also took me back to my teaching days when I used to teach units of stomp now if you have not come across stomp uh, it's a fantastic group they have a show when uh, the time permits uh, up in London and they often tour and it's basically a talented an incredibly talented bunch of um, musicians performers um, dancers that get together and they create music out of um, basically household items, recycled items, rubbish, and it's brilliant. And if you go and look them up, please do, because they are such fun to watch. Um, but they also do one called Basketballs. Have a watch of that, either when you've done this or before you carry on with this little uh, video, um, and you will see what I mean. You can make music out of anything, which is what we are going to attempt to do now, um, is make music out of a ball. Now, what you need is, it kind of needs to be football sized. Basketballs are even better. So if you have one of these about the house, uh, please find one. And especially if you're at school as well, I'm sure there's a PE cupboard full of balls that you can use. And it's got to have a good bounce in it. Because what we're going to try and do in our music today is feel the pulse while bouncing our balls in time to the music. Now, I promise you, there has been a lot of outtakes with this recording. I didn't get it right on many occasions, um, but it's been a lot of fun doing it. So if you don't get it right first time or it goes flying off in some direction, that's the only thing I'd say. Make sure you've got space. Um, 
it doesn't matter. You can practice because I've had to practice. It does come with practice. So I hope you enjoyed doing this little warm up. So just watch me. And it's all about feeling the pulse and bouncing that ball in time to the music and doing some actions. You're going to be bouncing it. We're going to be moving it around our bodies, throwing it up and catching it. I guess you could say it's a bit of PE combined as well because we're, we're practicing our ball skills as well. So passing it behind you. Okay, throwing it in the air and catching it in time. And then our bounces in time to the music. Now, I'm hoping in this take, it does all go well. So join me and just have a bit of fun. to go along with that beat as you bounce it, okay? So we're hearing the one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Have fun with that one. We're gonna have a go at a little uh, rhythmic rhyme and it, it features bits of the drum kit, so I thought it was quite apt. So it goes like this. Are you ready? Cause you're in for a treat. Are you ready? With your fingers and feet. Are you ready? Can you feel the beat? We are the human drum kit. Bang, bang goes the big bass drum. Now listen to the hi-hat. Snares go. Followed by a crash on the cymbal. Okay, so if I do a bit, you do a bit after me. Okay, line by line. Are you ready? Cause you're in for a treat. Are you ready? With your fingers and feet. Are you ready? Can you feel the beat? We are the human drum kit. Brilliant. Okay, let's put that little section all together after four. Sorry, after three. One, two, three. Are you ready? Cause you're in for a treat. Are you ready? With your fingers and feet. Are you ready? Can you feel the beat? We are the human drum kit. Once more. One, a two, a one, two, three. Are you ready? Cause you're in for a treat. Are you ready? With your fingers and feet. Are you ready? Can you feel the beat? We are the human drum kit. Okay, next bit goes. Bang, bang goes the big bass drum. Now listen to the hi-hat. Snares go. Followed by a crash on the cymbal. Brilliant, let's put that together, you ready? One, two, three, four. Bang, bang goes the big bass drum. Now listen to the hi-hat. Snares go. Followed by a crash on the cymbal. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, four. 
Bang, bang goes the big bass drum. Now listen to the hi-hat. Snares go. <laughs> followed by a crash on the cymbal. Brilliant. So let's put the whole thing together. So we're going to do the first part, then the bang bang goes a big uh, bass drum, that section, and then we'll go back to the beginning of Are You Ready? Okay, ready? After three. One, two, three. Are you ready? Because you're in for a treat. Are you ready? With your fingers and feet. Are you ready? Can you feel the beat? We are the human drum kit. Bang! Bang goes the big bass drum. Now listen to the hi-hat. Snares go. Followed by a on the cymbal. Are you ready? Cause you're in for a treat. Are you ready? With your fingers and feet. Are you ready? Can you feel the beat? We are the human drum kit. So we are now going to have a go at rhythms, but not just copy back today. We're going to have a go at reading some um, musical notation for our rhythm work. And we're going to look particularly at crotchets and quavers this week to start with. So as we go through this next section, you will see all the different rhythms on the screen and I'm going to play them and you're going to try and follow and copy. So in our first pattern, we have just got crotchet beats. Crotchets are worth one beat okay so a crotchet is worth one beat okay so that's what you can see on the screen now four crotchet beats and we're going to try and loop through them so can you i'm going to count in four and can we try and tap that four beats of crotchets one two three four and again So in our next um, next segment of this film, you can see that we have now got quavers in our rhythm pattern. Okay, so two quavers on our page and two quavers make up one crotchet. So here you can hear. Okay, so we think and, one and, one and with our quaver beats. Now, some of you might be really familiar with notation, but to some of you, this might be new. So if you're just new to looking at notation, you can use words as well to help you remember the rhythms. So it could be um, animals, frog, frog, tadpole, frog, okay? Or it might be food, tea, tea, biscuit, tea. Okay, so you can think of maybe some words to put to the patterns to help you remember how they sound, okay? But it's a very regular rhythm, this. So we want to hear real regular beats. So it's that four beat phrase, but now we've got a quaver there on the third beat. One, two, three, and four. So you have a go at that with me. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Fantastic, well done. We've now got uh, two quavers featuring on beat one and beat three. So we've got two quavers on beat one and two quavers on beat three. And as I said, they make one beat. They fit with one crotchet. So it should sound like this. One and two, three and four. So can you try and clap that with me and count the numbers as well if it helps you. One and two three and four. One and two, three and four. Fantastic. And I have been using my drumsticks. Um, if you've got an instrument or um, what you've been using in our music over the past few weeks, just grab it and you can also play along. So let's try that now. Ready? And one and two, three and four. 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 Okay, in this rhythm and pattern, we've now got our quavers on beats one and two, and we've got our crotchets on beat three 
and four. So the, it, the sound, the rhythm goes one and two and three, four. One and two and three, four. Okay, so you can either clap it or use whatever you're using as your instruments to play along. Are you ready? I'll give you a four count in. One, two, three, four. One and two and 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 three, four. So I've now organised those four different patterns that we've just looked at and played or clapped back uh, into a group, into my, my four beat, um, my four bars of music um, that I'm going to play through twice. And I wonder, as I'm playing, can you follow along on the music that you can see and see if you can follow each of those crotchet and quaver notes that I'm playing? And maybe the second time through, you might want to have a go at joining in. So, are you ready? One, two, three, four. One and two and three, four. One and two, three and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three and four. Okay, second time through. See if you can have a go at joining me now with either just clapping along or with the instruments that you have gathered to play, tap, make a sound. Are you ready? We'll try it twice through. One, two, three, four. One and two and three, four. One and two, three and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and repeat. One and two and three, four. One and two, three and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three and four. Now there is a musical term for a repeated rhythmic or melodic phrase, which is what we are starting to create. It's called an ostinato. Can you have a go at saying that word, ostinato? Brilliant, and that means a repeated rhythmic or melodic phrase. So that is your composition challenge this week. Uh, you are being set the challenge of creating um, an ostinato pattern. Now it can either just be a four beat repeated phrase, okay, that still counts as an ostinato that you play again and again. Or if you want to challenge yourself further, you can add a second bar of a four beat repeated phrase up to four bars of four beat repeated phrases, okay? But just have a go, have a go at writing those crotchets and quavers. Um, and if you've got any, send in pictures of what you create, send in any little films that you have of you playing them, um, because I've thoroughly enjoyed seeing the body percussion um, clips that have been coming through, so thank you for sharing those. Um, but yes, there's your challenge. Hope you take it up, and I look forward to seeing what you come up with.